Hello there, Grumpy Old Fart here. I'm doing a movie review of the movie To Kill a Mockingbird. This is one of the one of the first dramas that they had us watch while we were in school, and you know, grade school. And this is a brilliant, brilliant movie. It's well written. It the the movie came out in 1962, so it's black and white. It's a drama. This is this is this is literature. This is American literature. Period. This is doesn't get much better. Um, the basic plot is there's a lawyer named Atticus Finch, and he is set to defend a man named Tom Robinson, who was a black man accused of raping a white girl. This is set in 1930s Alabama. Uh, the racial tone of the old South, and <sighs> because of the racial tone set by the old south it skews the trial and it's it's disheartening it's saddening but it, it was a sign of the times and you a lot of people these days don't like the the they don't want to they don't want to remember the racism of the old south and there was racism nobody can deny that okay well you we can't ignore it because if you don't pay attention if you don't remember history those who do not remember history are doomed to repeat it. Well, if we don't remember the bad things, the bad things could happen again. You remember the bad stuff so we make sure they don't happen again. You see what I'm saying? Um, other central characters include Atticus's daughter, Jean Louise Scout, and his son, Jim. Um, this is based on the 1960 Pulitzer Prize winning novel by Harper Lee. And it is a wonderful book. I, I, this is one of the few instances when I actually like the movie better. But the book was really, really good. If you get a chance to read the book, I highly recommend that. The cast, this had a really great cast. Gregory Peck played Atticus Finch. Mary Batham, Philip Alford, Brock Peters, John Magna, M-E-G-N-A, Magna. Ruth White, Paul Fix plays the judge. Frank Overton, and Robert Duvall is in this one. And he was very, very young. I, I, this may very well be his first movie role, but he did a good job. Um, the standouts, i got to go with Gregory Peck, who is a an American classic and, and a legend in American cinema. He plays Atticus Finch. He juggles the roles of father, defense lawyer, law officer, and teacher brilliantly because he has to teach his children. Back then, parents had a lot bigger role in teaching the kids. You didn't just send them off to school and let them do their thing. Um, and by the way, Gregory Peck won a Best uh, best Actor Oscar for his role as Atticus Finch in this movie. Really great. This film is as realistic as any I have ever seen in bringing the racism of the Old South to life. I hate to say it, but it kind of shoves it in your face. But it doesn't do it in a in a in a belittling or demeaning way. It just shows how wrong racism is. That's what the that's what the underlying tone is. And the movie does it brilliantly. If you get a chance to watch it, the movie is To Kill a Mockingbird from 1962. And I guarantee you, you won't you won't regret watching it. It's really good. You folks have a good day. God bless one and all.